Hey friends, um, this is a quick video to share uh, something with you that I'm going through at the moment. And it has, at least to me, an interesting insight. And uh, I just thought I would share it. So it has to do with letting go of negativity. Um, you know, some people probably, you know, either experience me or, or perceive me as um, bubbly, smiley, joyful. And um, that is true at my core, and particularly joy. I do have a really special relationship with that emotion and that state. Um, but it's also been countered with depression for all my adult life. And um, so that's been the battle. It's an insight into negativity that has surprised me. And it has um, connection to, to depression. But here's the, here's the insight into negativity. Because it's been, you know, coming up like almost as, as the product of like a cleanse or a detox. This is the thing that has been um, surfacing and showing up in my experience. So that's what I was saying before, um, is that <clears throat> is that the experience of me is is uh, based on feedback I've gotten, um, you know, is like a happy, happy people. People don't seem to imagine that I have horrible days and that I have days of um, fatigue and extreme sadness. And this is just the case. Um, along with the joy, they are both true. You know, they are both extreme. And so here's something that changes the game for me, and it may change the game for some of you, I hope. And it is this, it's understanding that depression, you know, I mean, I have always experienced it as like a strangulation, you know, or like something compressing, you know, just like a pillow stopping you from being able to breathe and, and see, and, and um, it's just a very suffocating, you know, limiting experience or whatever, insert negative word, right? But negative, I've always associated even that word negative um, in, in a way other than the one I'm going to share with you now, which is that the core drive of um, negativity is to negate, is to deny, to block and resist and um you know there is so much that goes into um that would so much effort that we put into uh, like holding back and resisting and so it's it's something about this resisting thing because the whole thing that even started this video is that like um i got a gnosis and that gnosis was just like a like a statement of knowing and that statement of knowing was allow your good thing allow your good thing because i realized that there's been some good things that have been trying to come my way and usually through sabotage i would find a way to louse it up and so this time, you know, my subconscious got in the game and said, let me help her out and say, hey, this time, don't do that. Allow your good thing. So I have been really ruminating on what that meant. And I mean, and, and it became really clear to me that I have been blocking and resisting and denying, negating my good thing. What's the opposite of that? The opposite of negate is posit, that's positivity. What is it to posit? So you see how this is much deeper than just like melancholy or happy, happy, joy, joy. It's much more than that. It's kind of like, you know, when love is looking you in the eye, what do you do? This is what this is. What, so it's negativity that would negate or deny that opportunity, that experience into your life. 
deposit is to I ha hold on because I have to get like the point I want to make is that I'm it's like we've been so conditioned to negate we've been so conditioned to um, to not do this deposit is to assume as a fact and it's um, a statement that's made on the assumption that it will prove to be true so this is a, this is you know optimism idealism faith that's essentially what this means to posit something to be positive to posit something is to have a statement that's made on the assumption that it will prove to be true. So there's a, a confidence and a, a peace and a resolve and a decisiveness about something that is posited even before the thing is had. What is the thing? Is it love, connection? Is it finance, freedom, is it travel, adventure, whatever the thing is, is it is it health and energy? Um, is it being able to sleep at night? What is it? And so the breakthrough of understanding for me is that um, I think that I have been, you know, looking for the wrong target you know the, the target isn't necessarily um sadness or melancholy or 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 those other feelings that i have known all my life it, it, it's like this new target that has been that i've understood now is the fact is this target of um it's a learned habit of not allowing the good thing it's a learned habit of resisting and denying the good thing. It's the learned habit of being suspicious of a good thing. So we're just like um, poised and expecting the worst the, all the time. And, you know, that expectation absolutely influences outcomes. So to up level one's expectation, to go from negating to positing, you know, to take the risk. I'm getting, I'm willing to take the risk. Like I'll make a posit. I'm making a posit that something is going on in me. I'm going through some sort of change, some short sort of transformation that I believe is connected to evolution. And I believe it is connected to being a force for good, I believe is connected to finding and using my voice for truth and for love, and that I believe is connected to a similar change going on in a whole lot of other people as well. That's a posit. I can't yet prove that, but I say it full of conviction and expectation that it will be proven true. And this is how I'm just choosing to live my life. I don't want to be living in fear of speaking out the good thing that my heart hopes for because I don't want to appear foolish. That is that kind of um, programming of negation that has, you know, that I have, that's being exposed to me. And I'm just understanding it like all the way back from in utero, for goodness sake. For, you know, it's just all in the air and in the water. I mean, just this cynicism and, um, you know, to regard um, that which is that which is positive as um, weak or naive or gullible or some, you know, somehow flawed and not desirable. And then somehow the... Um, the act of negation is like it, it wins. It wins socially, conversationally. It's it's like more of the acceptable way to be. We're kind of conditioned to be haters and negators, and um, I and I just think it's because of, of just being mortified of appearing foolish. And I want to say like, hey man, maybe the freedom is in being, in just finding, giving yourself the permission to just appear foolish. <laughs> and, uh, 
But anyway, I'm digressing. Uh, the insight here is just to really re-examine um, your thoughts about that word, what it is to, to be um, under the influence of negativity and what that means. And, and like, just to look at this new object. It, it was, it's been a new object for me. Like, it, it wasn't the typical culprits, you know, just like, oh, grouchy and and, and it was like, no, it's actually just someone who just is like, almost like a, like a hockey defense, just boom, 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 just blocking all of good stuff, denying, negating. And, um, and, the, and the alternative to that is to allow, let that good thing happen without sabotage, 